Uh, well, thank you so much for the invitation, this party. I would like to talk today. Uh, the weather, no, excuse me, I would like to talk today about robust C1, robust transit systems. There is a long tradition about these systems in dimension 2. The first one, well known, is the 211 map, well known as the Arnold Cat. The Arnold Cat. Arnold Cat, which is a good system and a good explanation about the system that is mixing. This is hyperbolic. We know that you have two directions, one that is <laughs> expanding, other that is contracting this table and the stable direction. And the importance of this system is you have a cut, you have a cut, you have the cut, they have the cut, the angle cut, the angle cut, and the action of the transformation is the form, is the form in another cut. The cut goes, you see, you see the smile kind of down, but the two uh, wings of the cat goes away, and then is mixed and it's really fast mixing. We know the animal cat, well known animal cat, and we have a presentation, we have a presentation here. We can see the animal cat, here we have the cat before being transformed. The cat, the cat, then the map is acting, and you see that it's stretched and extended, and then the cat is transformed, and it steps, it steps, it steps, it steps transformed, but the cat, after the action of the transformation, came back and it's the same cat. But when we move in the act in dimension three, dimension three, this is a two-dimensional cat. In dimension three, we are going to have a, another kind of cat, a real three-dimensional cat. We have here the three-dimensional cat. <laughs> and then the question is the following: which is the system that is making this three-dimensional cat? We're introducing a new kind of system that is partial hyperbolic, which means that it's not hyperbolic completely. Oh, here we have a pool. This is something happened. <laughs> Here we have a system that is partially hyperbolic, and the system that is partially hy hyperbolic, partial, here is a new dimension that is up here, and the system is transformed in a real cat, a three dimensional cat, and then we have to find this, uh, a planation that is making this system mix, to mix, we have to mix the cat, and then we introduce the blender. The blender, blender, it will be the new technology, the new system that will produce the mixing process. And here we have to explain to you because it's totally different, it's totally three dimension. We have the blender. Here we have the blender. And here, and so, look at this. We have a real blender. And then we want to show how the real blender acts with these three dimensional systems. It's complicated. And then you add. Here you have to put first the cut. Then you put the cut, you close it, then because we want to have a compact manifold, we don't want to stand everywhere. And then it processes it, and then we put another little bit of action, water, and then you can put meal. Meal is a good cut too. And then you put again the blender, and then the action. And then you put a fast mixing system, and then you have. Not only that you have a hyperbolic system, but also you have a good, a good, you have a good drink. Salud. Thank you for the invitation. I hope to see you in the next, uh, the next class where we are talking about the Arnold tongue and the angle of the Arnold tongue under the blender.